What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and today we're gonna have some fun. It is warm and it's like nine o'clock in the morning here in San Diego, California. I wish that I was going to go cruising with this BT Cruiser. I'm probably not gonna get that today, but what you're gonna get is an awesome walkthrough video as we walk through all of the additions that we did to this, the modifications to make this BT Cruiser just awesome. So hang out with me, grab a drink, and uh, let's go check this thing out. All right guys, so I'm gonna come up to the front of this thing and I guess I gotta put my awesome Weld Tech Designs mug down to just use both hands to tell you how awesome this bumper looks. So this is going to be our tube winch bumper right here. But what we did different on this is this is actually going to have the receiver hitch. So keep in mind guys, if you want to add a front receiver hitch to your bumper, or maybe you already have one of our tube winch bumpers, you can still add it to it. It is a direct bolt on to the bottom of this bumper. However, this customer opted in for the heavy duty version. So it's completely welded onto the base structure of the bottom of this, making it even stronger. So typically what we like to say is if you're going to be carrying more than 300 pounds on there, that we recommend a welded on structure. This will also house the winch. You can see the hole for the fair lead, all done in black. And of course you can still mount light force lights to the outsides of it for your driving lights and two additional tabs up on the bumper. Well, we didn't stop there on the front end of this. You can see that we got rid of the chrome grill and added our black grill as well to give this really complete the look of all of the black components that are on this BT Cruiser. Well, we're not done there. Let's head to the suspension and check that out. All right, so the first thing we wanna talk about is this giant set of tires that we have put underneath here. You can also see that we did the blackout package on the hubcaps as well, really just making this look nice because you have other black things on here as well, like these mirrors. So what else did we do? We ran the 235-85-16 on there, and this is a Falcon Wild Peak tire. This is a really nice tire, giving you a little bit more aggressive sidewall. And I'm gonna say the tread pattern on there might be a little bit less aggressive than like the BFG KO2. If you wanna add tires to any of your RV builds, we sell and install all these tires here at Weld Tech Designs. Let's talk about the suspension in the front of this because that's the re real key thing on this is a lot of you guys want to improve the ride quality, reduce the amount of sway that your RV has, especially a little RV like this. So what we've done in here is we've done our six inch lift kit. On the front of this, it's gonna be the coils, the Fox shocks, the extended radius arms, which also moved everything forward in this wheel well, giving us a ton of room in the back portion of this wheel well for these tires. Always a big plus. We also did our modified I-beams on there. And you know, we love running our awesome Fox steering stabilizer on there as well. Now you may not have a lift kit on your RV and may be curious if that Fox steering stabilizer will work on your stock RV. And yes, it definitely will. So if you're looking to improve the stability of your steering, I definitely recommend that. You're gonna save yourself a lot of money over some of those higher priced ones out there on the market. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up all of the things on the front end of this RV. Let's go, I'm grabbing my black cup and I'm heading to the back. Come join me. All right guys, so we're coming to the back of this and oh my gosh, I love the way that this looks back here. So let's talk about what we did. Of course we have these tires and the reason that we like this 235 85 16 tire is that you're still gonna have plenty of clearance between the two tires and they're not gonna rub together. You can see that we have a ton of room here in the wheel well. We, of course, we didn't add airbags or helper springs to this. We added our complete new progressive lead spring to the rear of this. This is going to give us all the height we need as well as that amazing ride. And the key to these leaf springs is they are actually built out to the weight of the coach, which is really important because most of the springs 99% of the springs that come on all of these RVs is a one size fit all. Doesn't matter if you have a short 24 foot, 22 foot BT Cruiser like this, or even a 32 foot giant Integra. It's all the same springs in the rear. 
Well, we didn't stop there. We also dropped down the sway bar up in the front. If you are doing your self install kit, you're gonna wanna check that out where we dropped the sway bar down to. And then the last thing that we did to the rear of the suspension on this is we also added our Fox shocks. Of course, we love our Fox shocks on there. Now, one big thing is, is guys, understand that now you've gone to a larger size tire on your RV. Well, the spare is not going to be the same size. And if you have a flat and have roadside assistance, you're gonna call them up and say, hey, I got a flat, come help me out. And they're gonna show up to change your spare tire. If you don't have a spare tire, a lot of times the roadside assistance guys are not going to have a tire or the ability to change a tire onto your rim. So something really important when we talk about that and talking about spares, let me show you what we did to the back of this BT Cruiser. We're not done, let's go. All right, so the back of these BT Cruiser tire mounts, I'm going to say are extremely minimalistic and there's not a lot to it. If you do have a BT Cruiser, here's the best advice that I could give you right now before you ever have to use your spare, is go and make sure that you can actually remove it. On this particular BT Cruiser, it was just a through bolt, and when we went to take the studs off, it just spun the, the bolt on the inside of it. So if you were alone, you wouldn't even be able to remove your spare tire to change it if necessary. So what we did on this is we completely redid the mounts on the inside and on the outside going to a larger base plate. We also welded the studs on on the inside and you can see that this thing is going to be really secure now with bigger hardware and bigger mounting plates because we know that this tire is larger. Now I'm sorry I didn't take a video of the process and all of the components that go into it and I will definitely make sure that I do that in an upcoming video to show you how you can upgrade your mount but if you have a BT Cruiser guys I just want to let you know because the last thing I want is you stranded and not being able to get your spare tire off so now we are running a full-size spare on the back of that and that is a huge plus let's uh let's recap on what we did come on all right guys, one thing I forgot to mention is we also did the tire valve extensions on here. What's really nice about this is it's going to make filling the inner and outer tire a lot easier. So if that's something that you wanna to add to your build, just go ahead and let us know. We also carry these products all on our website. I'll make sure I put links down below. So if you wanna add these to it, you definitely can. So you know what? I think I'm just gonna hang out here in the shade because it is way better over here. So a lot of things that we did on this BT Cruiser. Um, I hope this video helps you out. We did the Baja Grocery Getter up front, a killer set of springs, tires, the blackout package all the way around, and then our cool tube winch bumper. And not only just a normal winch bumper, we also added that weld on receiver on the front of it, guys. I really wanna thank you guys for supporting the channel, coming and hanging out with us all the time as it um, sounds like we're in a war zone right now with a helicopter flying over. But uh, thanks guys so much. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and you know, comment down below, give it a big thumbs up. See you guys in the next video. I'm gonna...